Hey guys, welcome back. Well, we're just starting another project here. Mostly mechanical. I'm not sure if there's going to be any welding involved yet. So the problem is, well, there's a lot of problems with this machine, but the problem that we are trying to fix is this swing bearing or the turret bearing here. It's making a horrible grinding sound and you can feel it when you're operating it. You can just feel the grinding noise. So we're gonna change that out. We got to lift the cap off to do that. And then while we're doing that, we're gonna pull these two arms off. We'll leave the, the grapple here and we'll inspect all of this area. I know there's some stuff that's loose here. Um, we're gonna pull this off, pull that arm off, inspect everything, and then go from there. Well, we're getting ready to pull that apart and that moves quite a bit. I think there might be an issue somewhere in there. So pull that bolt out, see what it looks like. Just set it right here. That's like balance on that one. Right there, it's going straight down. Yeah, she uh, she looks good. Looks real good. Nice, uh, nice surprise there. Yeah, set it down, we'll show them. I'm sure there's gonna be lots of surprises here. Those look pretty good. Those look okay. All right, now let's get this, get this section off. Got it. So the other bolt, is he? you gotta get to it from inside the cab. Looks like he's got it. One inch impact gun, three inch socket. I didn't get to take the window out. We have to take the window out? Great. All right, so we actually got it to turn with a, a pipe wrench. Didn't, don't have a three inch opening wrench. Instead of taking the window out, which is going to involve destroying all the, the seals and stuff around the window, we're able to turn it with a pipe wrench, and it wasn't really even that tight to start with. So we're doing that. we get that pin knocked out and get her out of here. Got him. Just needed a little extra help. 
Of course we win. It has no choice. <laughs> it has no choice. All right. Well, now, now we'll figure out what the next step is. Haven't done this before. So we're figuring it out as we go. Now we're gonna try to expose these uh, bolts for this, this bearing here. Wedged in there or what? Well, it's bent all high heaven. Yeah, I figured it would be bent. Um, I'd be able to get the forklift on it somehow. Bent up. Oh, no, I meant to forcefully remove it. Try. Maybe put like a lifting eye in here. It's coming. Hey, look, we found the bulls. That's exactly what we're looking for. Sweet, and all the hydraulic lines, everything. Perfect. All right, we're back out here on this pile. <laughs> so we're disconnecting the uh, electrical and uh, hydraulic lines that basically go up into the cab. So there was 22 right 22 lines 22 electrical lines or wires that go in there and they were all the same color and there's no quick connect or nothing like that so we'd label them all with tape and numbers and then there's just a couple hydraulic lines there then we can start working on those bolts on that ring and hopefully we can lift the sucker off here and see what else we can find All right, well, we're back out here on this thing. Finally got everything. Change out this bearing. We've got the stick that I just did a line boring video on, on the other side there. So now we get to chase all these bolts all the way around in a circle. Through all that. Hopefully, we can get, get to them from underneath there. I already pulled the generator mount off. And then we gotta try to get heads of the bolts down inside there. There's probably four or five inside there that are a real pain in the butt to get to. Might be able to get through here. I don't know. Save the easy ones for last. All right, we're just gonna start tearing this thing apart and hopefully uh, make some progress. All right, now we're gonna work on these bolts. They're under that somewhere. Don't know where exactly, but. There under that. And no, we are not standing directly underneath this. And we are getting, before we get to these bolts, we are getting something else to put underneath this as a safety measure. Just in case something happened to the crane, we'll have a 
a couple extra seconds to get out of there. Now, if we did this right, the bearing will stay there. Perfect. Look at that. We're also going to change out this gear. I haven't even seen the pallet with the, the new bearing on it yet, but it's supposed to have this gear and that bearing. Hopefully everything is correct and matches up. We have to get that off as well. Looks like there's just a couple Allen Allen bolts there. There's a couple here. Looks like there's a couple countersunk Allen bolts there. Okay. Looks like one's already loose. <laughs> Yeah, that was loose. That uh, broken. Okay. Huh. Um, Let's put that back. <laughs> it doesn't go back. So it was being held on with one bolt. Well, it's a good thing that we're we're uh, inspecting that. Too bad. I'd say we just weld that back on and call it good. Get, uh, let's try to get those out with pliers first. Broken bolt there. Good old Nipix pliers. Can she handle it? She can. There, it's moving. There you go. Nipix, hands down, the best pliers in the world. Half the heads on here. Perfect. All right, now we gotta work on getting this sucker cleaned up a little bit because we can't be bolting nice clean machine surfaces to all this dirty junk. So we're gonna come up with a game plan to clean this and then we'll be back. All right, we got a brand new gear here. Needs just a little bit of a cleanup before it goes in. Okay, we got new drive gear on, brand new bolts loctited with anti-seize. Now we're going to set her on here and hope it all lines up. Okay, well the bearing looks like it, everything lines up correctly. Got everything clean for the new bolts. Get all these bolts stabbed in there and get the cab set back up, up, up there. All right, got all bolts on. All brand new bolts, all torqued spec. Got our AC bracket put back on. All right, now we're gonna set her up there. Yeah. 
All right, we got the cab on. We got all of the bolts in, most of the nuts on. Now we just gotta go around there, tighten all those down. Then we can start putting the, the boom and stick back on. And then can play connect the dots with all the hydraulic lines. And connect the dots with all 23 or 24 electrical lines. That all happened to be blue. That all happened to be the same color, so hopefully none of the numbers gets mixed up. All right, phone kept turning off. It's like 106 or something out here right now. It's pretty, it feels like it's more than that. The truck says 119, but I'm not sure if that's true. We're both completely drenched in sweat, but we're drinking a lot of water, you know, taking breaks, taking our time. Um, so here is the, the boom, the stick that we did. It's not the, that would be the end of the stick mounts to the grapple I guess this is the middle of the where the boom and the stick meet right there that's what we repaired in the last line boring video I will post a link to that video in the description so now we're going to put that up there probably call it a day after that but there's those grease fittings you can see they're not very accessible that's as low as that will go that's why we're going to run the grease lines back to the cab. All right, get the sucker on there. All right, phone shut off again, but this is how far we got. Got that on. We're going to call it a day. We're exhausted. Give me an idea how hot it is. Not that I'm complaining, but 133 on that. 147 on that cardboard cardboard 141.9 it says max 147 in the shade cardboard 100 108 in the shade. <laughs> Metal in the shade. 112 in the shade. All right, well, we're gonna call a day, be back out here uh, tomorrow afternoon. All right, so I had to go out of town. Long story short, Jacob came. He came back, got all the lines on and got everything uh, buttoned up, all the wiring done, and everything seems to be working great. So you can uh, see here a little bit, everything working. So the main purpose of this machine is to take 10 very thin steel here it goes in there it gets crushed and it makes little bales and then they're able to transport um, more weight more volume of steel that way because if you fill up a truck full of that there's so much air and gap in there and it doesn't weigh a lot so when they transport bales they can transport more weight but you can see how tight the boom is bearings working perfectly not making any grinding sounds like it was before. 
everything, everything looks good. Well, there you go. Here's the doors opening. All right, well, that's it for this job. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.